amid the ongoing public uproar that has greeted alleged attempts by a Labour Party faction to scuttle Peter B's election petition in court, reactions have begun trailing the social media posts made by All Progressive Congress APC Chieftain Festus Kiyamu sharing his thoughts on the ongoing saga. For those who are not aware, the Labour Party took to its social media handles on Tuesday, April 25, 2023, to accuse its suspended deputy national chairman of approaching election tribunals in the country in a bid to withdraw all cases filed by the party's candidates challenging the outcome of the just concluded general elections across the country. The party also stated that Obi's petition appears to be the main target of Lamidi and his faction. Taking to his Twitter handle a few minutes ago to react, Kiyamu mocks the Labour Party by stating that the APC would have to kickstart its election defence in court by challenging the Labour Party to first resolve its leadership crisis before proceeding to the main case. <laughs> Mm, as expected, Kayamo's remarks have sparked mixed reactions among Nigerians online. While some persons concord with his assertion, others, however, accuse the APC of sponsoring the crisis in the Labour Party to truncate Obi's petition against the president elect Ashwa Jutinumbu before the trial begins proper. Mm, so that is the reason why they have been delaying the whole process all this while. <laughs> okay. Mm. This a papa of a man looks like an ancient demon. I think yesterday he was saying, Oh, nothing, no, you know, do anything, no, you know, do say, you know, no APC before, you know, do this before. We say seriously, but of course. And now, why are these ones happy? Is this supposed to be your problem? Whatever that comes out of the old place, you want to go and tell the cause that they should tell them to go and resolve their internal this thing. Did this start before they submitted the petition? I don't know. You want to withdraw it? How will you withdraw something? You didn't fight before the petition was was uh, submitted to the court. No, he didn't do that. So, now it was after it was submitted that you are not telling them that you should go and resolve. No, I don't think that, that makes sense. Well, the Yapapa looks like an ego. Oh, he looks like a Yoruba ego. So, I wish I'd be a Yoruba ego. Do you have Igbo ego? Outside egos, okay. It is just because Peter Obi's petition has had the APC and Bola Metinubu as well as INEC and Professor Mahmoud Yakubu by the jugular. The only way out is to sponsor crisis in the party, which we know Jagaban and his cohorts to be good at. Look at this moral bankrupt Kayamu. Look at the type of person Nigeria most corrupt government is using. This is why Nigeria remains sleeping giant. With these kinds of people, no hope for Nigeria. <laughs> well, I said this that Pitobi wasn't smart. He would have told the embattled chairman to step down, legally support a known loyalty to act as a chairman while the case go on. He played into their hands by suspending and sacking this guy while supporting the chairman that was sacked by a court. Although there is another judgment restraining him, the likes of Okonkwo couldn't give a good legal advice. Now, the crisis has taken a new turn and this is what APC wanted. <laughs> you are smart and knows everything, yet Tinumbu didn't even include you in his team. Well, our papa is a on, is on serious person. God will disgrace him. Really, for APC to get to the desperate and ludicrous extent of sponsoring fifth columnists to destroy the Labour Party and withdraw the case against them shows that Obi has a strong case against APC and APC's G3 will watch as events unfold. I don't even know who gave Kiyamu San. You have not heard how he fraudulently bought the sun. Have you not heard? Food talks talk careless but a man with wisdom study watch before talking i wonder if this man is his son that is how he congratulates a woman who is not who did not win the election who was fraudulently declared a winner that was later cancelled he rushed in saying something i've just read that the upper fashion has denied it 
that they fight any issues of withdrawing case fight by will be in fact they are with him to reclaim the mandates what is the essence of going to school if one can not apply his brain i see reason why labor ministry is so poorly managed and nigeria become headquarters of poverty when we have this type of people as the head what a pity hey of course the man says something different we are hearing now this one is jubilating mm-hmm. well you apc could think we are foolish since you cannot guess peter b directly either by hook or crook you guys are fighting fighting him through infiltration of the labor party by your paid agents the plan of apc as they have no defense kiyamu is a woman man and valueless politician who could not even win his unit for his paymaster disregard him the pain is the embarrassment he is giving nigeria senior advocate of nigeria okay it is now obvious that the evil apc is afraid of the petitions it will soon bring them down the hand robbers apc <laughs> mm, they, won't, they won't get away with it now i don't even really want to express personal sentiments but i think festus kiyamu has lost it at the very extent of losing the dignity and respect to his profession as a lawyer and a senior advocate if such suppose intellectually endowed and disposed figures including professor walisha inka whom i have chosen as a role model could be unjustly and nefariously lost out with a demagogue and politics of incongruous association when it means the status of Nigeria state is currently in state of shambles and comatose. We in diaspora are experiencing the ugliest insult that our politicians are being showcasing before the world as we are being victimized and dehumanized by the references of their our politicians, these and evil norms. Remember the case of Uzodima of Imo State. He came third or fourth, but he was later declared the governor of the state to become president is no tea party obi is got to prove it on all fronts jumping around and peddling small time populism wounds caught it the case is already in cause now so which one jumping whatever and now apc is now saying that they want to go to court to go and say let them go and resolve their internal crisis before anything will start is that what you are saying that is jumping jumping from where i see not submitted the petition so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this